Hello my YouTube family. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Right YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that little bell notification below. And follow us on Instagram at Right Family. Believe it or not, the body is full of parts and organs you don't need to actually survive. Although many of them are there for a particular reason and are therefore required in some way, other people have parts removed because of injury or sickness or to minimize their risk of other diseases and continue to lead full healthy lives. In this video, we are going to take a look at top 10 organs we can actually live without. Are you curious? So let's get started. Number 10, tailbone. We all have a couple of extra bones at the base of the spine known as the tailbone or coccyx. It's a leftover vestigial structure from our ancestors and it does not really serve any purpose. Many mammals consider their tails useful for balance, but as humans learned to walk, the tail went useless and evolution converted it into only a few fused vertebrae that we call a coccyx. It has a lot of nerves and ligaments attached to it, which will stay within the body. During a fall, it can often get hurt or bruised, so it takes quite a long time to recover. But in terms of functionality, that's certainly not something needed by humans. Number 9. Stomach Yes, yes, don't be too shocked. The entire stomach of yours can be surgically removed. It is most often performed for stomach cancer-stricken men. The food pipe, the esophagus, which carries food to the stomach, is redirected towards the small intestine. Then, the small intestine seems to be doing the stomach work. A person who has had their stomach removed must be injected with vitamin B12 very often, as the small intestine does not absorb it easily. And all the rest of the functions in your body proceed smoothly, even without that all-important stomach. Number 8. Appendix Many people don't have an appendix and are doing just fine. According to John Hopkins Medicine, physicians are still not 100% sure why we need appendices first. So far, they know the appendix develops immunoglobulins, which are proteins that help fight infection in the immune system. There are other organs in the body, however, which produce lymphatic tissue for a similar reason, so the appendix is not completely necessary for survival. In fact, due to appendicitis, a great number of adults and children have their appendix removed. This is a deadly infection that, if it is not removed, can cause someone's appendix to burst, much like a ticking time bomb. So yes, you can survive without an appendix. Number 7. Gallbladder The gallbladder is a small sac-shaped organ whose main gig involves the storage and production of bile, aka the yellowish enzymes that help the body digest fatty foods such as cheese sandwiches. While the existence of a gallbladder is vital to maximizing digestion, you don't really need one to do their thing to your intestines. And sometimes, solid digestive fluid deposits called gallstones can form in the gallbladder which can cause a lot of discomfort to people. If the stones become too large and too frequent, a person may have surgically removed their entire gallbladder. The only concern a person without a gallbladder needs to be wary of is their diet and possibly avoiding those high fat foods. It won't hurt them, but they could experience digestive issues since the level of bile in their intestines will be far less concentrated. So of course, you can live without gallbladder. Number 6. Spleen Like the gallbladder or the appendix, spleen is in reality a valuable small component of human anatomy. Located in the upper left portion of the abdomen, spleen serves as an immune system reservoir for blood. Old red blood cells are processed in the spleen, and white blood cells and platelets are stored there. The spleen also helps kill some forms of bacteria that cause meningitis and pneumonia. That said, the spleen is a body organ that we can survive without, says Dr. Kellen Tuit, a family physician certified by the board, to bustle. If damaged, it is normally removed. Spleen's function is to help filter the blood of toxins and help fight infections. It is not necessary to have this organ as we have multiple defense mechanisms to prevent infection. Number 5. 
your kidneys. Most people have two kidneys, but only one or even none can survive with dialysis help. The role of the kidneys is to filter the blood to maintain the balance between water and electrolytes as well as the acid-base balance. This does so by behaving like a sieve, using a number of methods to hold onto the valuable items that the body needs such as proteins, cells, and nutrients. Most importantly, other things that we don't need get rid of, letting them move through the sieve to leave the kidneys as urine. There are several reasons why people have to remove a kidney, or both. Inherited conditions, drug and alcohol damage, or even infection. If a person has both kidneys fail, they are placed onto dialysis. So we can live without one kidney or two kidneys. Number 4. Reproductive organs. I don't need to tell you how these organs work. We know they're required for procreation, but these are not necessary to sustain an individual's life. Patients who have these organs removed surgically will live and lead a healthy, perfectly normal life. Women who have removed the uterus but whose ovaries are intact can also donate eggs for surrogacy. Number 3. Colon The colon is a part of the digestive system which you may lose. It receives into the large intestine, also known as the colon, after your food makes the journey from the mouth to the esophagus, stomach, and small intestine. By the time your food reaches this point, almost all of the nutrients have been absorbed and all that remains is usually salts and indigestible fibers. The colon helps to form and push along solid waste that can be pushed along in the shape of what we will politically call number two. This makes it a really important organ, in effect. But thanks to numerous advances in medical technology and surgery, a person can live without a part or even all of his or her colon. In fact, colectomies, surgery to remove part or all of the colon, are fairly common. Generally, a surgeon will make an opening in the small intestine, called an ilostomy, and attach it to a bag outside the body so the person can continue to remove waste without their colon. Number 2. Uterus People with uteruses may need to have them removed for medical purposes and can go on living healthy lives perfectly. Someone can hysterectomically remove their uterus as a treatment for cancer, uterine fibroids, chronic pelvic pain, or other reasons. According to the National Institutes of Health, about 1 in 3 women in the United States have had the procedure by age 60. One may also have their ovaries and other parts of the reproductive system removed and lead a normal life. Number 1. Bladder You don't need your bladder to get rid of waste. You may conclude that a person cannot live without a bladder, which acts as a main organ in the urinary tract. After all, everybody has to urinate to remove body waste, right? Like many other organs on this list, it turns out that the bladder is often safely removed from the body when it presents a serious risk of cancer or inflammatory disorders in a person. According to Mayo Clinic, after a person has removed their bladder, they will need to wear a special bag that is attached to the outside of their abdomen to absorb urine. This procedure is called a urostomy, and it works by allowing urine to drain constantly from the body. In some cases, a doctor may be able to create a pouch using tissue from the intestine that can hold urine after it passes through the kidneys. This urine can then be drained from the body via catheter without having to pass through an actual bladder. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos. That's it from this video. We hope you liked it. The comment section is all yours. Do tell us your suggestions about next videos. Check out any of these videos. Bye.